This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review. And today, actually, a model kit review. This is the... YOLO Park limited edition, which surprises me. Usually I'm not able to get exclusives and limited edition stuff because people get to me way faster or by the time I found out it's sell it's sold out. So, you know, I'm really happy to have this. I have a soft spot for the Nemesis Deco. Uh, I only have the Netflix Nemesis Prime. I do have the Velocitron Scourge which is kind of a Nemesis Prime. And I have the Black Convoy, uh, like a G1 repaint KO of Optimus Prime. And uh, this looked really good. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll get the Optimus at some point. I have Megatron, which is actually right there. And I just really wanted to have a, uh, this, the, I just wanted this. You know, I, I don't usually collect model kits or stuff that don't transform, but I don't know, I needed this. So I got this. So there you go. I'm gonna review this and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. But before I do that, I just wanna remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very happy about. And also check out the interview playlist if you wanna hear me ask uh, good questions to the actors. And now let's roll the intro. All right, so here we are, and just the uh, the box. I'll do this in uh, in parts because it's hard to unbox all this on camera. And I don't like like it's big, so I have to you know pull back and show you guys other you know the background behind my setup. And I I don't really like that, but anyway. Uh, so you have the limited edition Transformers 40th anniversary more than meets the eyes, the Yolo Park Nemesis Prime AMK Pro Series model kit. Uh, transformer stuff then you have how to assemble quickly with the different accessories uh, you have the stand the gun you know standard box uh, Japanese or Chinese English and then you have the 40th anniversary logo which is funny it's 40th anniversary of Transformers I guess it's not just of G1 because there was not no Nemesis Prime in G1 so all right, let's see what's behind that box, which is another box. And this box has beautiful, you know, shiny line works, die cast. And when they say die cast, they mean like three parts max. That's what Megatron had, like a chest plate. And I think the legs were a little die cast. Uh, so wondering which part are gonna be die cast here. Probably chest area and legs, that's my guess. You have the different accessories that we're gonna see. I like the fact that we have a Megatron gun. That's, that's cool, the axe and uh, the uh, iron cannon, I guess. I think it's an iron cannon from the game. I'm just thinking about the War for Cybertron game. Anyway, AMK Pro Siri, don't forget the recycle. No, I'm keeping boxes. And there you go. All right, let's see what's inside that box. So what's inside is this box, which hides, uh, come on, this box and uh, QR codes if you want to uh, you know more information about Yolo Park and there's the instructions and the instructions are uh, you know decent uh, how to you know the pieces where to install the camera matrix what what clips and in, in where and pretty much it so it looks good though I like I like that uh, that deco so can't wait to assemble this, which I'll do in time lapse. Just you know, want to save you guys the uh, the trouble. Uh, what do we have? Let's start with the small one. And there's a lot of pieces. So you have the stand, which I have a similar one with Megatron. I don't really use it, but it's good for posability. 
Uh, C-clip, you have like little parts here, uh, I, I don't know, legs. You have the gun, the, uh, well actually, uh, maybe I can pull a couple things out just to show you guys. But you have the Megatron gun, which I'm guessing, yeah, you okay, you clip over like that. Come on. There we go. Uh, so nice, nicely detailed. This is officially my first Megatron gun. So I'm guessing, you know, it's not a five millimeter port, so it's going to fit on Nemesis and that's it. But it looks really good. It's really cool. I mean, I do have the Jinbao gun, but I mean, like a, for an accessory gun, this is my first Megatron. So happy about that. You have the axe, which is red instead of the traditional yellow for Optimus. Uh, with a ball peg, so it's a simple insert. Uh, it looks like it splits in two because there's, you know, you can see the clip uh, on both sides here that holds them together, so that's cool. And then you have the Megatron gun, uh, the Optimus gun, which has battle damage. And I, I'm gonna be honest, I would have preferred a clean deco, but a little bit of scratching, you know. And then you have the stand, which I'll uh, assemble in time lapse, and then you'll see. You have this box, which has all the uh, uh, Nemesis Prime pieces. So I don't know if there's a battery in there. I don't see one. Uh, I'm not gonna go get a battery just for the like. I'm not huge on light up effect, even if I know it does look good. But you know. So, where's the, oh, there's the, uh, the back, the, you know, the jet pack, that's cool, the matrix. So, yeah, these are all the parts. So, I'm going to time lapse this just for fun, and hopefully you guys will enjoy uh, that. And then we'll uh, come back to review the, uh, the figure, the model, once it's assembled. So, uh, let me get uh, set up. There you go. Just um, read the instructions before. Like I, I'm too eager to assemble it. Like you saw, I re reverse this. Like, but the thing is that if it's not in the right side, they won't let you peg it in. Like you'll break it. So you know, it's uh, it's it looks really good. I'm really happy with the result. I mean, this is a good uh, model kit. 
you know, granted it's not like the Bandai, uh, you know, um, Infinitism model kit where you have to assemble piece by piece. This is pretty much pre-assembled, so they're saving the last step, but you know, really cool. Uh, the paint on this guy is fantastic. You have like, okay, the die cast part, so part of the leg in the interior, the toes are die cast, and yeah, the legs here are die cast, and that kneecap here is die cast. That's pretty much it. Well, the chest plate, you don't assemble it, but you do need to pry it open with a tool. That's specified in the instruction because it's really tight, like it's clipped in really nice. And once it's open, which you want to make sure you don't damage anything or scratch the paint, but once it's open, you have access to, come on, the matrix inside, which looks really good. I mean, you can remove it if you want. Uh, and like I said, I, I, I showed in the time lapse, you know, where to put the battery, which basically you just kind of lift the, uh, the head. Oh, there's a side to it. Uh, close this one first then this one or at the same time yeah, I guess at the same time nope no it's not clipping now hold on so there is a side oh it's because the matrix is unpicked all right that's picky hold on so I'll try to do it at the same time it, it's but it's you have to put a lot of pressure to it uh, so anyway yeah Looks good. Like I said, I wish, you know, you, you can just remove this here and then you have that little hole there to put the battery in. Unfortunately, I don't have any batteries, uh, nor do I, like, I don't bother buying batteries for these type of stuff because really I'm not going to display it with the lights open and I don't leave batteries inside my figures. So I just don't want to spend for something I'm not going to use uh, just for the review, you know, so. But he looks really good. Uh, Decepticon insignia, you have the little lights here on the uh, the chest, uh, translucent red, you see the matrix inside. Uh, that could have been like co completely colored without the translucent, would have looked good. Uh, you have the green arrows here, uh, the green on the crotch, uh, silver all around in the back, nice booty. And then you have uh, the uh, leg plate. Uh, which like the exterior is not die cast uh, so yeah but he has a nice weight to it because of the die cast uh, you have the nice silver on the legs the fuel tanks which are square instead of round like in cab mode usually optimus has like those round tanks now these are squared so i don't know if uh, that's the same thing on the 40th anniversary yolo park optimus prime um, i'm guessing it probably is but We'll see. Maybe I'll get it. And then you have uh, the nice shiny toes. You know, the nice grill. So you have a lot of articulation because it's, well, it's a selling point really because a model kit, you want them to be articulated. So you do have your full rotation at the head. You have, um, you know, attitude, look down, look up slightly. Uh, these are soft plastic, so your kids won't poke their eyes out. Like it's it's it well, it's not rubber, but it's just really thin. So be careful with that. Uh, you have your full Ferris wheel at the arm. Uh, no butterfly. Uh, they go up like this. You have your uh, double elbow band. Really nicely done. You have a. Oh, did I remove the finger? No. Okay, it's just a little loose. Uh, so you have a full rotation at the hand and each finger, I'm lying. Okay, this one's like super loose now. So maybe I did pop something. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out later. Let's use the other hand. So you have, uh, yeah, individual, they're tight. But you have a lot of articulation, like th two points of articulation for each finger. The tip itself does not move. You have the thumb, which is one piece that moves uh, with a ball joint at the connection here. So it's going to be good for grabbing weapons and stuff. 
And you have my little teapot. You have a ab crunch. You have a look up from the back. And you have a full uh, merry-go-round. Uh, if you move this, you do get a kick forward. Oh, actually, oh, you do have like a, a good. There's a joint at the legs that allows you to. You see this joint here? That's a double kind of joint where you can uh, you can make him stand taller if you want to. Looks goofy, but it's an option. But it gives you a nice kick forward. Uh, there's a skirt in the back. Kick back. Push that back in. Okay, if you don't extend it, it doesn't kick. So there you go. Oh, my leg is... Uh, well, you have a rotation, you know, at the leg, but that's going to pop your joint and remove the legs. You have a fantastic knee bend. And then you have... Well, I don't want to force it. You don't have much of a tilt. Uh, no, you don't. But you do have like a... You have something in the back. No, you have, you barely have a back and forth. You have a toe tilt though. But back and forth and rocker. Let me try the other foot. Barely. A little disappointing, but you know, not a deal breaker. So overall, very poseable figure. It just, I don't think you'll be able to do much with the legs. Like, I mean, you'll be able to you know, maybe put him in running poses because the toes are gonna go up. I'm not that great at posing, but you know, it works. Oh, do I have a, uh, oh, I don't think so. Well, okay, maybe I can get my Johnny Cage. So you do have skirts here, but they don't go up very much. But if you pull this thing down, be very careful. Yep, yeah, okay, so that's how, yeah, but that's gonna look extremely goofy. But you can get your Johnny Cage. There you go, so I'm gonna put that back. I'm afraid that uh, these joints are gonna break. So, there you go. Put them down, clean them up. Nice waist. There you go. Now, can he hold guns i'm gonna guess yes let's start with the optimus gun so the optimus gun man this is a loose finger joint uh there's a it's black on camera right so there's a little hole here I'm trying to there you go you have you see the light reflection going in so that's the hole there's a peg here so let's put this like this Peg this in. Put the fing while well, the finger last. Now let's move the fingers. Very tight. Oh. It's always you know some getting used to. So, and then put the finger over it. So there you go. He's able to hold his gun. Looking good. What about Megatron? Megatron might be a little trickier because you have to put a finger in that trigger chamber. I don't, I'm not a gun guy, so trigger thing. So, all right. So I'm guessing if I... Well, there you go. You can do it, but the hand doesn't close super nicely around it. But it does work. Not the greatest pose, but you know. So there you go. Nemesis Prime with both weapons. And now let's try the axe. So I'm gonna, for simplicity's sake, I'll remove this hand. And you have a ball joint, you have a ball hole. There you go. So he's wielding two powerful weapons. Let's try to give him a good pose. Eventually, I'll get better at this. Posing, I mean. Uh, yeah, he's a little heavy from the front. There you go. Yeah, I'm not that great at posing. But man, this looks good. I like the reflective black 
all over it. It's a nice coating. Let's see if, oh, okay, that's different. The pegs are in here instead of being, you know, the peg holes are in the jetpack and then here you have these things. And yeah, good luck removing those. You're gonna need a, wow, it's wedged in pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need a tool. I might just leave it there. So, it's not really the backpack though. Like it's not the jetpack because you don't have the, maybe it's just his back. Hmm, what does it say in the instruction? Well, it doesn't specify that this is a jetpack, so that's probably just the, his back. Because it's, I don't know, we've, we've probably seen something like that in the show, so. He used to have like a, you know, pretty well cleaned up back in the cartoon, so. Looks good, I like it. All right, and then you have the, um, you know, the clip. They tell you to put it here. Uh, oh, that's a tight fit. So you can just clip it around here. And I guess you can have him fly. It's a little awkward po pose, but you know, if you take your time and if you're really good with stands, well, this works. Or you can just, you know, have him on the ground and, oh, actually, no, can you? Hmm. This, this doesn't go further than that. So yeah, it's for, whoop, the gun dropped off. It's for flying pose only. You can't uh, use this for on the ground. Huh, I think Megatron was a little more flexible unless I put it backwards. No, same thing, same mechanism. And then you have, it's a nice stand though. It, it you know, for the, 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 the looks of it, the weight, um, the balancing, I think it's good. And then you have that little insignia here. So yeah. Nice gun metal, I like it. Uh, but that's, yeah, I guess it's only for flying poses then. So you clip it uh, here, and then you just need to balance it and pose him, and he's gonna fly. There you go. Oh, one thing is that I wish these things, man, this is a tight one, but I wish these pegs would just clip in and then be done with it. Like, I mean, there's three pegs, and they're all on the same side. Like, I mean, the same, regardless of which one you pick, it's going to give the same result. So, I don't know. They, they should just make it a permanent fixture so that it doesn't unclip when you're trying to move them around on the shelf or stuff like that. So, there you go. All right. Well, that's my nemesis. Let's uh, do, I just want to do maybe one or three comparison. Hold on. Okay, this is the 3-0 uh, Rodimus Prime. Uh, which my friend Vince gave me. I love this figure. Uh, pricier, uh, more articulated, uh, more defined. But I mean, this is pretty much half price of this. But this is mostly die cast, you know. Um, love this guy. This is the spoiler pack from Earthrise Nemesis Prime. I love this figure. That's an another gift from my friend uh, Pierre Paul this time. I uh, love this figure. This one much bigger, painted shinier. This one is more like of a gray. Um, I wouldn't have minded a uh, full black, uh, but I, I like this one. And with the Yolo Park uh, 40th anniversary Megatron. And it looks good together. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping maybe one day I'll be able to get the Optimus. This one I had the same issue, like I didn't have the uh, battery, so I don't have the light up effect on the gun and everything, but uh, you know, and he has, this one has a little more die cast, um, but I have to say that the hands on this one are a little more easy to manipulate. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's Megatron. I love him. He's good. Same articulation, you know, same way to build it. Uh, if you don't have it, I recommend it. So there you go. This is probably how I'm going to pose him. I'll bet a little, you know, maybe a better pose, but with the Megatron gun. If you remove the, you know, this accessory from the gun, holds way better, because this gets in the way, you know, from holding uh, the gun in a straight position. So I recommend not using this and just put your Megatron like that. Works perfectly. Love this guy. I'm really happy I decided to pull the trigger on this one. Uh, it's a great figure. The articulations are nice. The colors are nice. Posability is good. I'm just not great at it. 
and that's pretty much it so thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment love reading those keep coming back i have more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole take care